Basic TCP IP networking. TCP IP is the backbone of the internet and most local networks. This is the first in a series of videos I am making to make us feel more comfortable helping our clients solve networking issues with our products. Uh, as a side benefit, this information should prove valuable in troubleshooting or setting up your own home network. We will be talking about all the protocols that we use to configure our devices during this series of videos. Uh, TCP IP, which of course is the protocol we're going to be talking about during this video. SMTP, which is Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. LDAP, Lightweight Directory Access Protocol. SMB, Server Message Block Protocol. DHCP, Dynamic Host Control Protocol. And SMP, which is Simple Network Management Protocol. Uh, of course, the first one we're going to talk about is Transfer Control Protocol Internet Protocol, which is TCP IP. And protocols, they are just rules that govern how devices communicate on a network. That's all they are. Uh, but right now, we're going to discuss the two most basic settings of TCP IP, uh, which is the IP address and the subnet mask. Okay, an IP address is just a set of four numbers called an octet. And if we look at this um, example I have here, we have a 192, which is the first octet, 168, the second octet, one's the third octet, and of course 50 would be the fourth octet. Now, each one of these octets, uh, to be a valid IP address, can only have a number between 0 and 255 in them. If so, for instance, if we had a 192.275, that would not function on a network at all because it wouldn't even be a valid IP address. So just keep in mind that these all have to be between 0 and 255 in any of these octets. Uh, the subnet mask, it just dictates what the network is uh, and what how many devices can be on the network. Uh, with this example I have here, uh, this 255, 255, 255, um, I kind of like to think that that masks out what the network address is going to be. So uh, this 255 mask out the 192, this one mask out the 168, and this one mask out the 1. So on a 192.168.1 network with this subnet mask right here, any device that's going to talk on this network has to start with a 192.168.1. If it doesn't, it cannot communicate on this uh, IP address network with this subnet mask. Uh, so that would be the network address. And then what's left over here with where the zero is, that allows this number to be anything between zero and 255, which is what uh, our devices uh, could be on our network. So in this example, we could have approximately 255 devices talking on this network. Um, of course, to see what the IP address is of a computer and for testing communications between devices, we need to have a basic understanding of MS-DOS. And uh, MS-DOS stands for Microsoft Disk Operating System. And the two uh, commands we're going to learn about today is the ipconfig forward slash all and if we type that um, in right down here in the example I have of an MS-DOS window if we type it right here and hit enter it'll show us the TCP IP network settings for the computer we're on or the one we're using um, and then the ping command if we type it in right down here and hit enter uh, actually, we have to put a number after it, so we'd have to put the IP address we want to con uh, actually communicate with. That would allow us to test the communications with that device on the network. Now, uh, before we can, can use MS-DOS to do those tests, we're going to have to have a basic understanding of how to open up this little window on a Windows-based computer. So that... Uh, to do that, we would have to we have to learn about the run command, and of course, this is a, a little example of what the run command box looks like. And you notice it says type the name of a program folder 
uh, document or internet resource and Windows will open it for you. So when we type in the CMD into this little uh, box right here and hit OK or enter, it's going to open up the MS-DOS window that we saw before. Now you notice Windows flag key plus R is what opens up this box. So to find out, uh, to give you an idea, some of you probably don't know where the Windows flag key is, so we're going to look at a keyboard. And the keyboard, you'll notice there's a little Windows flag button or key right down here in the lower left hand corner, and it's between the control button and the alt button. So if we touch that Windows key and we hit R, that opens up our run command right there. So I've already typed in CMD here. It, uh, the run command keeps the last uh, typed in command in it. So all I have to do is hit OK. And here is our DOS box right here. So let's go back and just do a little bit of testing that we talked about in our TCP IP, uh, or I'm sorry, in our MS DOS. So in our MS DOS uh, slide here, we wanted to do the IP config for forward slash all, and we'll do that and we will see all of our network settings. So let's type in IP config forward slash all and hit enter. And if you notice, it brings up uh, a lot of uh, fun information here. Uh, we're interested, it shows the tunnel adapter, which we don't care about. We care about our local connection. That's where all our goodies are, all the information we're interested in. And you notice, among a lot of other uh, settings here, we see the IP address and subnet mask. Now keep in mind, all these other settings that are here, we are going to be discussing in another video. But right now, we'll just talk about the IP address. So on this network, uh, my computer as a 192.168.0.101 is the IP address and I, our subnet mask here is the 255.255.255. Um, so that's going to mask out the 192, the 168, and the 0 as our network address. So any device that's going to talk on this network is going to be required to have the 192 dot 168 dot zero and then now since we have a dot zero in our last octet here that means this field could be anywhere between um, uh, zero and 255 so we again we could have about 255 devices thereabouts on this network so let's scroll down here to the bottom and let's run a couple let's run our ping command so if we ping, and let's go ahead and just ping, um, we have a DNS server here. Uh, so there's our DNS server 192.168.0. That is on our network, and it's .1, so we should be able to ping that and get a response. So 192.168.0.1 and hit enter. And you notice it is pinging the 192.168.0.1 and it got a reply back from it. So we have good communication between my computer and the uh, DNS server or DNS computer. It's working just fine. Uh, now, uh, with what we've learned, we would know then if this if we uh, this 192.168.0 has to be uh, the same uh, on any device on our network if we want to communicate with it. So let's just ping 10 dot 168.0.1 and hit enter. And you notice it's trying and it's going to try four times uh, before it gives up but it's going to this request timed out so it didn't communicate with that didn't communicate with it again uh, it's still not having any luck so it's going to try one more time and then it's going to give up and there it says uh, it it couldn't, 100% uh, was lost right there. So it was not able to um, get any kind of response back from it, which is what we would expect because that IP address is outside of our network address with the subnet we're using. It would have to be a 192.168.0. something before it could talk. So that kind of gives us uh, the idea, kind of a basic understanding of um, 
MS-DOS and how we use it to uh, troubleshoot um, TCP IP and, it can get, and we got a basic understanding of TCP IP uh, the two basic settings that we have to have before our device can communicate on a network at all. So let's just do a little bit of recap. Let's go over to our TCP IP slide and let's look at of course uh, the protocols that we studied about. Uh, they're just uh, rules uh, that govern how devices communicate on a network. Uh, we're going to talk, we talked about TCP IP, which is Transfer Control Protocol, Internet Protocol in this video, but we're also going to cover SMTP, LDAP, SMB, DHCP, and SNMP in another video. Uh, we talked about our IP address, which is just a set of four numbers called an octet. So 192 is our first octet, 168 is our second octet, 1 is our third octet, and 50, of course, is our fourth octet. And each one of these octets to be a valid IP address requires that we have a number between 0 and 255 in it. Anything higher than 255, it's not even going to be a valid IP and it wouldn't work on any network. And then we also talked about the subnet mask. That actually dictates the number of devices on our network and the actual network address. And that mask out, uh, wherever there's a 255, that mask out that octet as being our network address. So on this network we had to have the 192.168.1 or we could not communicate. Where there's a zero that leaves it wide open we can use zero to 255 in that uh, area so that would give us approximately 255 devices that could could be on this 192.168.1 network with this subnet mask. So we also talked about MS-DOS and the IP config all, which shows us all our TCP IP network settings, the ping, which allows us to communicate uh, on our network, and then we also talked about how to get to our run command with the Windows flag uh, key plus R, and then the CMD command that we would actually type inside the run command right here to get to this MS-DOS window right here so we could actually do our uh, MS-DOS commands for troubleshooting. So that kind of gives us an, a general idea, some basic TCP IP networking. Uh, like I said, we will be going over a lot of other protocols and stuff uh, in future videos, but I think this gives us a good start and uh, I'm going to be posting this up on a website so that you could have access to it to just uh, go over it uh, whenever you wanted to. Um, so hopefully that's been helpful to you. Um, so we'll see you next time.